So for today, Warlocks, we're going to be looking at your ornaments for Season of the Wish. So if you guys don't know, we've already done the Hunter and the Titan video. They're both right here. And I really like a lot of them. Uh, I think the Hunters got some dope ornaments and the example sets that I made are amazing. Titans, I think the same thing as well, aside from the fact that the helmet ornament that you guys got, unfortunately, shaded pretty terribly and not like super, super terrible because they do change color. It's just the fact that the main colors are off colors. And not only that, uh, you just have to work around some of that. Um, but the second like example set that I made, absolute fire. Definitely check it out. But Warlocks, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I like one of your ornaments and the other one I'm just like, oh, but like, poor why? Poor K. Like, we, don't, we didn't need this. But you guys will see when we get to, into it. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Remember to hit the bell notification if you guys, guys want to keep up to date with my current content. Because I do think it's worth it. Considering I post quite a lot of content just by me, myself. And yeah, I don't think I've stopped making content for like a good month of just two videos a day. Which is pretty wild. That being said, one of them is a short. But I still think it's pretty wild that I'm posting pretty much a video a day. So... I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Cla Claws of Ahamkara. So finally, it got an ornament and damn, did it get one of the coolest ornaments, Beastly Whisperer. So this is obviously an inspiration from the actual enemy type. I forget what their name is. It's basically the Cabal Dogs. And I think it was the War Beast or some shit like that. I think it looks amazing. I definitely think this is one of the coolest arms that the warlocks got just because they really just looked at the war beast and was like let's take the best pieces from the war beast and make it into an arm and jesus christ did they actually hit that off like you see the spikes on the like the edge of the arm you see these like the claws the scales everything just is amazing for the actual shadering i actually don't mind it at all like i think it looks fine i have no like I really don't have anything to like really bitch about aside from the fact that like some shaders make the scales look kind of like ashy and not in a good way. Abyssinia and Gold's a great example of this. But other than that, like I think it looks amazing. As for the example set, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um unfortunately <sighs> I was gonna say I don't think the right class got this ornament. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, I was going to say that I don't think the right class got this because the Titans have the most Cabal uh, themed pieces. That being said, Titans already do have a War Beast themed ornament for the arms. They're actually for the Doomfang Pauldrons. So at that point, it's kind of a moot point because like, again, Titans already have that ornament. So Warlocks getting it isn't a big problem. I guess I would have liked to see it on a Hunter, but I guess we'll eventually see it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think warlocks getting this is fine again i love this ornament it looks really cool it's just combining it with other cabal theme pieces is going to be rough because again like i said psionic speaker rose does not invoke like super cabal themes for me but i guess the season of the chosen ornament will look good and the season of the risen which is the psionic stuff will also look pretty good with it uh because if you guys don't know season of the hunt we ended up getting the activity armor and the more specifically, I would say, um, the the seasonal ornaments were all enemy specific armor. So the hunters, for me, at least I think so, got fallen themed armor. Titans got cabal themed armor, and then warlocks got hive themed armor. To be fair, though, the hive themed armor for warlocks is kind of ass. The titans actually pretty good, and the hunters is actually my favorite. I actually think I've made a review of the armor. If I have it. I'll have it up right now just so you guys can check it out. But I definitely think Warlocks getting a Cabal themed is not bad because we all did end up getting a Cabal themed set with the psionic stuff um, from Season of the Chosen. I want to say either Season of the Chosen or Season of the other Cabal season. I don't remember. Either way, like we got we got a chess piece that I could use, which obviously you guys have been seeing it. The Cabal uh, psionic speaker robes. But I don't think it fits just because psionic speaker rose sees it's it's more of a like a scion thing more than a beast. So 
I still like it. Don't get me wrong. I still think it looks really, really cool. I would probably switch out the helm. No, no. I like the spikes. I think the spikes looks really good. Honestly, the whole thing is just spikes. Like I'm trying to go spiky as much as possible. That's why I'm using the Ciceratops bond. That's why I'm using the mobile exoskeleton boots because there's a spike at the bottom and on the sh on the knee. And the what Starfares, obviously everything has spikes except the chest piece. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. For the shader, we're using full throated roar, which again, I will be making the shader videos soon, hopefully. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. And then last but not least, we have Crystalline Load Start. So this one is the one where I'm like, but like, why though? Because as much as I want to like it, I can't help but just feel like we just got an ornament for this one. We don't need another one, especially one that just kind of looks it doesn't look basic, but God damn, does it not look good to me? Like, God, like it's, I'm so conflicted. Cause on one hand, like it looks cool. Definitely. But it, I, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's not in the same level as all of the ornaments. And that's, I think my biggest problem is cause like the hunters ornaments, all amazing. Titan ornaments, all amazing. Warlocks, one of them's cool. This one's just like not hitting that same level for me. Like the, the Titans and hunt and yeah titans and hunters i feel like both your ornaments were just like fucking yo that is wild this one just seems like kind of boring if, I, if i'm being quite honest with y'all like if they really wanted to wow me i feel like the that like geode thing that's on the actual arm um not only would i have it be moving but i would also have like an animation where it comes up and then comes back down like make it look cool no but overall i just think it's kind of a boring ornament if i'm being honest yeah compared to like all of the other ornaments it's just i find it lacking i guess as for our shaders i think it shaders pretty well at least from memory yeah it, it shaders pretty well um my only gripe is the fact that like well i guess this isn't it's no yeah it's i see it for the other shaders um Okay, so for example, let's look at Ancient Wisdom. You guys will see on one of the corners of the actual arms. Um, hopefully, I'll like actually show you. It has this green color, and that's actually the off color for Ancient Wisdom. You guys will also notice it in Echoed Anger. There's that white, like, almost discoloration. Like, you've, that metal has touched something a lot. I'm not a big fan of that. But then you get into, like, Abyssinian Gold. Then you notice, oh, it's not there anymore. Even though maybe it's there. Maybe. But then you get to, like, Cryptic Insignia. And I can't even see it anymore. So it might just be some shaders you'll see, like, some discoloration there. And some you don't. But that's not helping this at all. It's not helping. As for the example set, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like, legitimately. My only thing is, I've kind of already made this set before. So... For this one, I ended up going for like a research slash archaeology type thing. I don't know. For, yeah, I've actually, yeah, I've made this set a few times. I think it was the boots that, no, it might have been armed or helmet. Either way, Ancient Apocalypse Hood with the Crystalline Lodestar for the Osmiomancy gloves. The Intrepid and Quarry robes, Holdfast boots, and then Coronation Bond. For the shadering, we're going to be using Iron and Bone just because the ancient apocalypse hood unfortunately has a lot of discoloration you can definitely still see it but it's not as bad as some other shaders which is why i ended up going for ancient wisdom or ancient apocalypse i should say i will say though there are some shaders that will actually just turn off that discoloration but unfortunately i was just too lazy to try to find it but yeah that is pretty much it i like like i said i think this looks pretty cool like i would actually have this in the back of my pocket if i was trying to go for like a researcher type thing or like an indiana jones type thing especially combine it with the cowboy hat i feel like that would be really cool but other than that i'm just kind of like meh whatever like it looks cool but just not at the same level as the other sets that i've made because this one just looks kind of basic so warlocks i'm not trying to bash on you it's just unfortunately osmio mancy gloves I think the other ornament looks way better. And honestly, like, I feel I, re I really feel like we did not need another Osmiomancy ornament. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. If you guys have been hearing my cat, <laughs> sorry. We, I did mention this on the, in the Hunter video, but he is back. Um, this is still that day when I recorded the Hunter video. And yeah, he's just kind of mouthy because he's, I guess he's either hungry, afraid, or just nervous in general. But 
Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you. I, uh, I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.